Hi, I'm Jake, and today we're going to do a twist sequence. Come on to your mat. And start in hands and knees, tabletop, wrists underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale, reach your right arm up, and exhale, thread your right arm through your left. For thread the needle, rest your right shoulder on the floor, right side of your face on the floor. Hop up on your left fingertips, and left hand slightly above your head on the floor. Exhale out your mouth. Hand slide your left hand underneath you, flatten it out. Inhale, unravel, reach up, look up. Exhale, lower it down. Okay, second side, reach your left arm up, look up. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm swoops through the right. Rest your left shoulder on the floor, right side of your, left side of your face on the floor. Hop up onto your right fingertips, right hand slightly above your head on the floor. Right elbow angles up. Exhale out your mouth. Okay, slide your right hand underneath your right shoulder, flatten your palm out. Inhale, unravel, reach up, look up. Exhale, lower your left hand down next to your right. Okay, straighten your hands out, tuck your toes, and step back for plank. And exhale, chaturanga, low plank. Lower to the floor, point your feet, bring your arms alongside your body, spin your palms towards the floor, come out of your fingertips, lengthen your back and lift up for locust, shoulders up, arms lift, legs lift. Go for a no bend in the knees, reach back through your feet. And exhale, hands flat by your ribs, tops feet down, inhale, cobra, bend your elbows enough to set your shoulders back, exhale, down dog, tuck your toes, and lift your hips for a dog. Yeah, you ought to be long enough in your stance after that push-up sequence. Just bend your knees enough to lift your low back up. And inhale, step your right foot between your hands for lunge. Bend your front knee over your ankle, back foot vertical. Come on to your left fingertips and inhale, twist. Right arm reaches up. Keep the right heel heavy. To scissor square your right hip back, turn your chest open towards the ceiling. And exhale. Right hand down, step back. Down dog. Okay, second side, inhale, step your left foot between your hands for lunge. Left knee right over your ankle, back foot's vertical. Hop up on your right fingertips and inhale, twist. Left arm reaches up, turn your chest towards the ceiling. And Exhale, left hand down, step back, down dog. Okay, inhale, step your right foot between your hands for lunge. Okay, lower your back knee gently. You're gonna wiggle your right foot to the right edge of your mat. And reach your right hand back for your left foot for a thigh stretch. You can hold either side of your foot Lengthen your back, plug your right shoulder back, draw your heel to your hip, engage your back foot, tip your hip up towards your heel. Here's an option to come onto your left forearm. Okay, just so far as you keep the weight centered on your back thigh, no slouch through the right side of your body. Right shoulder even with the base of your neck and plug it back. Okay, inhale, gently release. You're gonna wiggle your right foot towards the center of your mat. Wiggle your right foot forward for half split. Right toes point up, right knee points straight up. Okay, make sure you're long enough for your left knee slightly behind your left hip. For half split, hands to either side of your right shin to the floor of the blocks. If you don't have blocks, you bend your right knee as much as you need to to touch. Just keep your toes flicked up. Okay, if your leg is straight, option, you can take your left hand to the outside of your right shin, wedge your left forearm against your right outer shin. Right hand to your right hip. Okay, turn your chest towards the wall to your right. You face the wall to your right. Put your right arm up and look up. Right toes point up. Okay, hands to the floor. Step back. Down dog. And second side, inhale. Step your left foot around your left hand. Lower your back knee gently. And reach your left hand back for your right foot, for thigh stretch. Quad stretch, yeah, hold either side of your foot, 
Just lengthen your back. Plug your left shoulder back, throat back. Just keep the weight centered on your back thigh. And so far as you can keep that alignment, come onto your right forearm and go deeper into the thigh stretch. And gently release. Slide your left foot to the right and forward. So you're long enough in your stance for half split. Your right knee slightly behind your right hip. And your left toes point straight up such that the second toe of your left foot is straight up, even with the center of your left kneecap, even with the center of your left hip crest. So you stretch all your hamstrings evenly. Either tuck or point your back foot, whichever is more comfortable for your knee. Hey, breathe here. This should be enough. The option to twist right hand to the outside of your left shin. Wedge your forearm right up against your shin. Keep your left toes straight up. Left hand to your left hip. Wrap this left hip down and send your right side chest forward towards the wall to your left. And when you face the wall to your left, reach your left arm up and look up. Whew. Okay, hands to the mat. Step it back, down dog. <clears throat> Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, step your right foot between your hands. Warrior two, spin your left heel down, come on up. For side angle, right forearm to your right thigh, left arm by your ear, turn your chest towards the ceiling. So far as you could keep that alignment, chest turning up, you'd reach down for the full pose, right hand to the floor, a block to the inside of your right knee, and hands to the mat. Step back, down dog. And second side, inhale, step your left foot between your hands, warrior two. And side angle pose, left forearm to your left thigh, right arm by your ear. Spin your chest open, and so much as you could keep that, you need to touch for the full pose, left hand to the inside of your left foot. Use your arm against your inner knee, inner knee against your arm to turn your chest open. Okay, hands to the mat, step it back, down dog. Okay, inhale, step your right foot between your hands, spin both feet towards the wide edge of your mat. Feet even with one another, feet straight. Come onto your fingertips, arms straight. And take your right hand right at the center, underneath your sternum. Left hand to your left hip. Keep your right foot heavy, hips level. Spin your chest open to the back wall, to the wall to your left. When you face the wall to your left, reach your left arm up. And second side, switch. Hands, left hand right at the center. Right hand to your right hip. And keep that left foot heavy. Keep that left hip lifted even with the right. Turn your chest to the right. Reach your right arm up and eventually look up. Okay. Hands to the floor. You shorten your stance a couple inches. Hands to your hips. It's okay to bend your knees to come up to stand. And feet hips width apart. Okay, weights in your right foot. Bend your left knee. Hold your left knee with your right hand. Lift your right knee, your left knee up. Flex your left foot. Okay, flex that foot. Turn your chest open towards the wall to your left. Okay, if you're steady here, option to reach down with your right hand to hold the left outer edge of your foot. I'll turn to face this way so you can see. Okay, option to hold this foot. Press the hand against the foot, foot against your hand to keep a lift in your back. Turn your chest left. Reach back through your left fingertips. Look back. Okay, and second side. Okay, weight in the left foot, bend your right knee, hold the outer right knee with your left hand, like an upright lunge, flex this left, this right foot, and lift your knee up. Turn your chest to the right, reach your right arm back. If you're steady here, come out of it, reach with your left hand for the right outer edge of your foot, thumb pointing down, press your foot against the hand, hand against your foot to keep a lift in your back. Start to straighten that right leg out. Wrap your right outer hip down, turn your chest right, 
Look back through your right fingertips. Okay, step down. Okay, bow forward. Touch the floor. Down dog. Okay, right knee wide for pigeon. Right knee to the right edge of your mat. Pigeon. Square your hips. Come onto your forearms. Let your hips sit back and heavy towards the floor. Okay, and come on up, step back, so which sides, left knee wide for pigeon, left knee to the left edge of your mat, square your hips, come onto your forearms, let your hips sit back and heavy towards the floor. Okay, come on up, step back. For dog. Now right foot forward for pyramid. Take a short enough stance. Both heels are rooted. Hips square to the front. Fold over your right leg. Okay. And take your left hand to the outside of your right foot to the floor block, or even your shin. Right hand to your right outer hip. Okay, get tall enough to level your hips and turn your chest towards the wall to your right. When you face the wall to your right, reach your right arm up. Palette back, look up. Okay. Hands to the mat, spring up, standing split. Left leg lifts from the inseam of the leg. Keep your right heel rooted. Inhale, lift halfway up, come onto your fingertips or blocks. Right hand to your right hip. Slide your left hand in front of your right toes. Turn your chest to the right. When you face the wall to your right, reach your right arm up, back leg up. Okay, hands to the floor. Step down top of your mat. Second side, weight in the left foot. Right foot back for pyramid. Pose, short enough stance, heels are rooted, hips square, fold over your left leg. And for twisted triangle, take your right hand to the outside of your left foot, left hand to your left hip. Wrap this left hip back, turn your chest towards the wall to your left. And you face the wall to your left, reach your left arm up, look up. Okay, hands to the floor. Weight in the left foot, spring up. Standing split, hips level. Okay, keep your left heel grounded, lift halfway up. Come onto your fingertips, left hand to your left hip, right hand in front of your left toes. Turn your chest left. When you face the wall to your left, put your left arm up, back leg up. Okay, step, hands down, step down. Bow at the top, bend your knees deeply. Whew. Sit down, lie back. Bend your knees for bridge pose. Place your feet, ankles underneath the knees, feet hips width apart. Root your feet down and lift your hips up. Lift your low back up. Either clasp your hands underneath you or arms alongside you. Whichever gives you leverage to walk your shoulders underneath you. And lower your hips down gently. Hug your knees in for happy baby. Rock and roll and rock it up to sit and Stretch your legs out wide and feet point up, knees point up, root your legs down and lift your low back up and bow right down the middle. If you go to bow forward, if your knees lift up, if your back tucks under, hands behind you, root your legs down as straight as they'll go. All right. There's a lot of twists, really good for your IT bands and outer hips, great for your knees. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Namaste.